The famous wow. baker from Touch a Heart. <laughs> Wow. And it's your meat recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's warm. <laughs> it's Collins. All right. uh, Thanks, Colin. You get the honor to put it right there on the table. Okay. The table on the side because you're the baker. Baker's mm. heart. All right. So here we are. Ooh, okay. So we are um, we're gonna take this off so you oh can see what's goodness. all in here. Wow. Um, yeah, that would be great. Yep, go ahead and open these up. Uh, yeah. Cool, thank you. Cool. Looks like chicken. That's what it is. <laughs> Kosher chicken. Yeah. Kosher chicken. Yeah, it's yeah. actually everything here, almost everything is organic. Wow. So it's all wow. freshly made. This is Israeli homemade food. Wow, wow. Yofi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how you eat it. <laughs> 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 Yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's put this in here. These are pita chips. Okay. Maybe somebody can do it from this side. I think that took a little more. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Which are Hebrew 101 class. So we here. And we're going to go for the whole spiel in just a moment. <laughs> the whole story of Israeli authentic food. <laughs> All right. Kosher kitchen. Kosher kitchen. That's right. <laughs> and not and is and this is the real this is the real thing. So here we are. We have pita bread, and we have all those sauces. So what we have here, this is freshly baked pita bread from Shaloha. They bake it right there in the place. Oh wow! They, it's cut to halves. So what we do is, uh, we take a pita bread, and I, if you have a gluten intolerance, you don't have to. You can just make yourself a plate without the pita bread. Uh, but this pita bread made uh, with organic ingredients, so it might be okay, even if you a little bit hesitate. Um, and then uh, what we do is, we have here hummus. Everybody's familiar with hummus, right? Mm -hmm. Garbanzo bean. Mm -hmm. This is tahini sauce that's made out of sesame um, oil. This is the amba sauce, and it's made out of mango. Mm. This is spicy, it's called schug, and it's very spicy. So if you don't like spicy, don't eat it. That's very spicy. If you like spicy, eat it. It's the best thing. <laughs> um, so what we do is we. <laughs> this is this is the traditional way, and you don't have to follow it. But just showing you how to um, how it's go about. So we, usually, what we do, we, we put the hummus inside first, and um, and you can take some pita chips. So. It's okay to take with your hands, just kind of like, okay. Uh, and then you can put on the side some, some homos to dip it, if you want to, you don't have to, and all the sauces on the side. Now, um, what we do is, you can either put everything in a pita bread, or can leave it like this and then put it inside the pita bread as you eat. So, um, you can put these on the side and then put it inside the pita. It's really up to you, I like it on the side and put it as I eat. Uh, or you can put it inside. So we can put all those different salads, uh, just like this, and then stuff it in a pita later on if you want to again. And uh, so we have here the bully salad. These are two different fermented cabbage salad. So it's mm. been sitting for a while and it's very good for you. This is Israeli salad. And over here we have um, eggplant. This is fried eggplant, mm. and this is uh, shawarma, and I believe, I'm not sure if it's his lamb or chicken, I think it's a chicken, chicken, shua chicken, chicken. shawarma. So it's, a, it's made in a special Israeli seasoning, it's called shawarma. Over here we have falafel, this is all vegetarian. This is all gluten-free, if you're looking for gluten-free, this is all gluten-free right here. This is falafel, it's vegetarian, made of garbanzo beans. This is cumin, um, sorry, turmeric rice. Uh, you can put the falafel inside the pita. This is my favorite because I don't, I'm a little vegetarian. So I'm going to take a couple of these. 
And this here is called schnitzel and it's made out of chicken. And it does have uh, bread breading outside. So if you have a gluten tolerance, again, this is have bread breading on the outside. And it's have more rice on the bottom. Uh, so that's basically it. Go ahead and enjoy. Amen. All right. Thank you. That's right. It's like what?